This one, the first one I wanted to watch here was uh, Bing Chang versus uh, Abel. I think this was right, and this was oops, spoilers right here. Bing Chang's very good. This is why this is so. I mean, Abel ended up winning it, obviously, but like this was this was very surprising to me anyway. So I wanted to see what this was all about. Get these beautiful guys up here on. So we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that matchup we were just talking about. All right, let me know if that's too loud for y'all. But it could be. We just never know. What if Abel gets that another game? They go with Claudio, they go with Paul. And I think the both just kind of kill each other off. Good lord. Ugh, fuck. I was trying to test if I can listen to myself. Claudio, huh? Whoa, whoa. Oh, did he hit? Yeah, that, that's Eliza. right. That was his character last year. I remember. Oh, okay. Claudio. So he's going with Eliza. Okay. So I'm glad that, you know, uh, all the Claudio mains, like Shadow and Bing Chang, they got their character buffed. So we'll see if we get to see them more often. All right. Going to Forgotten Realms. I don't know. Hey, Chromatic. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Oh, man. This stream did not start off well, I will tell you. Oof. But let's learn some Tekken, huh? Nothing makes me feel better. I'm trying to think. Um, so, Eliza has like that, that three-hit string that breaks the floor. I don't know how easy that is to put into combos. Claudio, what does Claudio have? He has one plus two, one plus two. I wonder if that's any good. He has that three hit move that like uh, eventually stuffs him into the floor. I wonder if that floor breaks. It'd be like a fifty-five damage starter floor break. I also don't know if floor break cancels um, getting starburst. Actually, you know what? That makes me think that it probably doesn't floor break. Boy, hop kick. Oh, he tried to. Okay, so he tried to break with back four. But man, both, both players dropping combos left and right. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Is that is that really the best thing to do? Oh wow. Did he? Did he key charge on the first round? First round win. Damn, he key charged on first round win. That dude's wild. All right, let me. Trying to find a good place to put this. I don't know where to. I can't put it down there. That's where the meters are. It's Tekken, baby. Oh, yeah, you can't hear four. Oh, wow. Dive kick breaks. Okay. Keeps it nice and simple. Oh, no. Decides to keep the four. I like that. I like that decision. Might have been able to kill if he broke the floor, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, I don't know Eliza's damage values after break because it looked like in that first one that he didn't want to go for too much. There you go, dive kick. Oi. Yeah, that new season two combo. It actually might have been uh, it might have been better for him here to go to that season one combo, because you see like he does this whole string right. He does the whole combo, and then uh, when you do the combo, when you do the combo this way, you're basically what you're doing is that you're putting, uh, you're making it so that running for two is the last thing you put into the combo, right? Back for one, running two. It does more damage. But it gave him, it didn't give him any ability to adjust the combo, right? It didn't give him any ability to, to fix it so that he would be able to get a nice wall splat or something like that. And that's something that, like, you sort of have to think about sometimes when you're choosing your combo selection. Is like, what's going to give me the best, like, output overall? Like, yeah, that might have, that gave him, like, what, 61 damage with wall splat? But it didn't give him anything afterwards. It didn't even give him Oki. So, like, if you went for that, like, uh, if you went for the hop kick into 
the the season one combo hop kick into forward three he would have been able to adjust it better and then he probably would have been able to get a better combo off it he might have been able to do like uh knees like the the double knees that lift him up high you see that often shadow goes for that quite a bit and then maybe go after that go for uh three plus four which is like the 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 brian like looking flop kick thing that he does afterwards and that probably breaks the floor something like that would have been pretty nice but instead, he goes for the the season two combo, and he wasn't able to basically. You put the screw so late that there's only one option afterwards for you to do. Here's a follow up here into the mix up. He does have Starburst available though, so you never know. He might thread that needle. Oh, into the throw. No time left. He's gonna have to do something. Yeah, he just got that down four two on its own. Oh my gosh, the whiff. Man, he is looking for that whiff punish. No time left. Oh, oh, oh. Was wasn't able to time. get it. Oh man. With punish, dive kick. The double dive kick combo, or the double dive, yeah, the double DP combo. I'm pretty sure that's because she got a buff to her DP where that she recovers quicker. Yeah, the big Jang tries to take a big risk there, tries to get off the wall. No punish. Oi, hop kick. I believe it was probably the first hop kick he landed in the set so far. Here we go. What kind of mix up are we going to get? Oh, oh, got that rage. And I've always said this the mark wow. of audio player is how he uses his low attack, how he forces his opponent to react to start ducking. Yeah, you know, I agree with that to some extent for Mark, man. He said he said that, like, a good Claudio player knows how to get people to react to their lows. And since his lows aren't that good, all things considered. You know that's uh, I can I can agree with that to some extent. Twenty two. Oh, you gotta. Ex I think you gotta like expect the ex dive kick in that position, right? Like you have plus frames. You don't think he's gonna try to go for something that's evasive. Oof. Oi, the whiff punish. Oh, I didn't know if he could pick that up. Damn, first game going to Abel. <laughs> Fergus over here. <laughs> Look at her. Everybody's wearing, why is everybody from the U.S. like or from uh, out of town like wearing their hoodies? Like they're all just chilling. They're all just like, hey, uh, I don't know what to do here on oh, my free time. And they're just watching. I mean, uh, to be fair, a lot of those dudes are mega stressed, right? Those dudes are mega stressed. They they went all the way down to Colombia. They don't they don't know what's going on. Bing Chang. You know, I didn't think the Claudio was a bad pick. I just thought uh oy. He don't pick Brian after you lose a game. That's true. I don't know. I don't know if we know something that I don't know if he knows something that we don't. I think he's just uh, wants to pick, play Brian. What what could he possibly have wanted in in this character that he didn't have in 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 uh, Claudio? This is the thing I think about, right? Like, what what did he want in Brian that he didn't have in Claudio? And that's. Hey, man, I was wondering why, like. I couldn't see anybody in chat, and then... All right, let me reload this. Let me see if I can... I fucking hate chat sometimes. All right, let's see if that works. Sorry, I wasn't trying to ignore y'all. I was just like... I have like a... I have a few people here, right? Hello? <laughs> oh, sorry. Dude, uh, it, people, people were just wearing that hoodie all day. People wore hoodies up the entire weekend. How's it going, Astro King? Hope you're doing well, man. Let me get. Ugh. Yeah, this my uh, on my on my desktop. The chat isn't still working. That's mega weird. What if I pop it out? There it is. 
All right. Well, popping it out worked for whatever reason. Anyway, sorry if I felt like I was, or if, if it sounded like I was ignoring y'all. Ugh. All right. Sounds good. Glad you're doing well, ma'am. It's good. A uh, good Tuesday. Be doing this, and then I got some DBFZ later today, so it's gonna be a good day. Anyway, ah uh, man, so he picks Brian here. My first thought for me when he picks Brian here is that he wants to pick a character with better lows, right? Like he wants to pick a character that can force, um, that can really make him think about the lows because the lows like although you get like pestered by the lows for the most part you can you can ignore them and the second thing is that the mock kick the mock kick just can snipe her out of the air no problem like anything anytime she jumps out of the air mock kick is going to give her a full combo <laughs> whenever i see txt i see think tech and cross tech <laughs> you know what i don't know what i think but it's probably similar to that you want more? Boy, hatchet. All the stuff, too. That's so scary. Look at look, this. is such a scary situation to be in. Where is this? You get hatchet and then you press low jab on plus four? Oof. I guess the things you expect there is like four three, which is 16 frames. You wouldn't really expect a down four two one to pressure check. Not from Bing Chang. So, yeah, pretty smart decision, in my opinion. Because you get this right, or well, where's the hatchet? Hatchet, and then he does, you know, the dive kick jab, or di jab dive kick. So, yeah, I mean, uh, unless you see him do, like, a 10 frame, which the 10 frame wouldn't have worked, right? Because it would have been a high. So, yeah, it would have been a down 4 too. So, that was not a bad read off plus 4. That's like one of those situations where you're kind of surprised, but it did work out. It's scary though, right? Like if you miss time that, you're eating a four three. Uh, I did see, I did see a bit of seam. I didn't see all of seam. So I, I, eventually, I'll be getting to that for just like uh, looking over. Look at this combo. Oh, magic four. Look at this combo. Uh, uh, uh. That was great. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, he didn't know where he didn't know where he was on the wall. So I think he would have been able to pick up with a quarter four two one here. He might have been able to. They would have given him a better Oki situation. Yeah, no Eddie from Abel, huh? That was really weird. Uh, both uh, Ricky and Mark were talking about that as soon as he brought it up. He's like, huh? No Eddie. That was weird. Oi. Yeah, maybe. What the fuck just happened? I could have sworn that wasn't just me. I was like, did, did my eyes not work? What the fuck happened to this stream? They're like, full health. And he gets the launch and then he wins. <laughs> All right, whatever. I was like, man, I'm going crazy, aren't I? Man, I just missed that. Oh, I feel really bad. And then it just teleported. All right. Well, there you go. Maestro, I'm gonna t moving on. Oh my god! Hatchet. This is not good. Man, he just wakes up, jumps like it, his defense has been really interesting. He hasn't taken no for an answer. Oi, into demon. This is a ton of damage. That was crazy. Oi. 
Man, the two things that really stood out to me in that match was that the, both times where he was in obvious negative frames, he would just challenge. 